Hello YouTubers and a Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you've all now had time to eat and get settled down for the evening and hopefully watching this video. Yeah, I thought I'd do what I would honestly say is an alternative Christmas message. I know the Queen's done one, but no one listens to me, so I'm hoping that you're going to listen to my alternative Christmas message, which is of hope, uh, family, and celebration, basically. Um, the hope is that we get a decent vaccine. I know we've got an early vaccine, but I, I hope to pray that we get a better vaccine for 2021 and things like that. And I know it's been a bumpy year because of Covid and that. But don't let that stop your celebrations. Keep going, keep celebrating as much as you want. And let's hope for, yeah, so my hope is a, a, a better a better vaccine for 2021 and hopefully a more prosperous year for 2021 not as as bad as what we've had it's, it, it has been bad 2020 really and as one has for family well family it is all about family Get, getting your family around that unfortunately my family my mother and father had died years ago so <laughs> that's not going to happen but that's my, you know, that's my interpretation. The, my meaning of Christmas is one of love, um, forgiveness and celebration. That is the meaning of Christmas to me and family, basically. And that. Yorkshire tea. Can't beat a bit of Yorkshire tea. I'm not on the art stuff. And that. Um, so yeah, so that is so. So I'm hoping that you've all enjoyed your sent you know, Christmas Day. You've opened all your presents up and things like that. I know I have. Yeah, you know, very surprised to what I got. Very <laughs> uh, quite handy. Um, and that and one of eternal optimism, I suppose. I mean, I'm very optimistic that are we going to get a better 2021? Well, let's hope so. Let's hope the new year brings in. A complete change around. No more, no more stupid lockdowns. I hope. Don't want to start off the year like that. And let's hope that we can all go out and do what we want. And, and let's hope that that we do get a vaccine. What works properly? Yeah, you know, not this test. Yeah, you know I mean, the government are using us as guinea pigs. Well, let's face it. That's why they're cutting corners to try and get a vaccine out. It's unbelievable. But. One of them that they get a vaccine out, a better vaccine, what I can use, so it, it goes well with my tablets and things like that. But like I say, it's all there. And moving forward, um, to the new year, I'm, well, I'm hoping to get a wild camping New Year's Eve, like I did last year, but a little bit better. I'm hoping to get, like I say, a wild camping, if I can't. I, I, it won't be happening, and you won't get a, this. You know, so 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 if you don't, you know, so so New Year's Eve, um, I, I, I'll be out camping. Hopefully, New Year's Day when I come back, I can get it up. I, I can get at least part one of it up, and uh, show you what I've been up to. You know, where you know, you know, while camping and things like that. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, New Year's Eve. Um, there will be a video out on my last video will be out on when I think it will either be Tuesday or Wednesday and that will be a look back through all the year of what I've done and through the year of the good and the bad and the ugly basically and so that's to come it rather be Tuesday or Wednesday I think that might be Tuesday actually Um there will be a video, I'm doing a Boxing Day special. So tune in for that, I hope. So I'm doing a Boxing Day special. So I hope you're all tuning for that. I hope you all like that. You know what I mean? I mean, everyone's, yeah, I mean, we're doing Christmas specials. So I thought, well, I'll do a Boxing Day special. Um, so come Boxing Day, there will be a video, I will be doing a video for you all. It, it will be uploaded and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Like you enjoyed the midnight, the alternative midnight mass. Well, 
I hope you took it as a bit of fun because that's all it was meant to be. I'm not taking Mickey out of anyone being religious. It's just that I'm not religious myself and no one's ever done it. No one's ever done that kind of midnight mass before. So I thought, yeah, why not? And that, stay tuned, I might do it again next year. <laughs> um, but I thought it was quite good. I, you know, I thought that you know, midnight, my alternative midnight mass were quite good. Um, I wasn't expecting to get a lot of views on that myself. I'm not even expecting to get a lot of views on this. You know, what they call the Christmas speech. But, it, it's Yorkshireman 66 alternative Christmas speech. I mean, I think I'm a, I think I'm a bit more entertaining than Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> but yeah, so, so you got a video today, you know, Christmas Day. You got me Christmas, you know, you know Yorkshireman's Christmas Day alternative speech you'll have a video up on boxing day which is tomorrow yeah saturday and then up for tuesday or wednesday you'll have another video back where i'll go back through the through the year what i've experienced and come forward right up to present day and and that one you know so that one will be my last video for this year but I just wanted to keep you all entertained through Christmas because I know how boring telly can get. Uh, yeah, yeah, you might have seen all all all, all films before, so I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll do a fresh video, keep you all interested and hopefully entertain and that. But yeah, it hasn't been a bad Christmas for me. It's been a, well, it's, it's been a pretty good Christmas actually. You know what I mean? I'm just nicely settling down and relaxing after my Christmas dinner. I'm just getting over that, gee. And that, and I'm just enjoying Christmas. Yeah, the spirit of it. I've enjoyed watching, I, I, I've been watching Gunnar Dino plays as Christmas Day. Well, I thought that was good. Making a character out of Toy Story. I thought that was very good, actually. Really was. Yeah, and I, yeah, I, en I like to watch videos as well as make them. So, yeah, they're, they're both enjoyable. Either way, you know what I mean? Um, and I thought, I, I hope you all are watching this at right at end at night and you're nice and relaxed. You think, you know, Max, bothered, you know, you know Yorkshireman, he, he's bothered to do another video. Well, I said I would, and I don't break my promises. You might not like the video, you might not like my speech, you might not like, you know, because it's, it, it, it's one of our, um, one of our celebration, and like I say, a bit of love. That's what Christmas means to me. And forgiveness. Yeah, we, we have to forgive those who have done wrong to us over the year. Like, you know, being bullied. Yeah, I've been bullied, like, over, over yeah, I, you know, I did a video on online bullying. Yeah, you got to forgive them at the end of the day. Yeah, because that's what Christmas is all about. Love and forgiveness. And moving on with your life. Celebrating. Celebration. It, it is one of celebration. A lot of people say, well, so, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, I said, whoa, 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 hang on a minute. Even life, you celebrate when you come in, and, you, and we should honestly celebrate when we die. That's how it should work. But it doesn't, does it? It doesn't work. When we all go to a film, we're all upset and that. But with my mum, and especially with my dad, I did celebrate, you know, my mum and my dad. And I grieved afterwards. I really did. Um... Well, that's what it's all about. It is a time of remembrance as well. But yeah, you know, you know, family, love, and, and forgiveness. That's the meaning of Christmas for me. Yeah, you know I mean, not all this commercialised. <laughs> yeah, you know, how it is all commercialised. I know kids want presents and things like that. But it is, yeah, it's been too commercialised for some time now. It, 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 it was too commercialised when I was a kid. But it, it's how it goes on. It's how a big industry makes makes the money, I suppose. Um, I don't know how much of industry is making the money because where I live, there's no pubs open. And that. And this is the one of what? This is where my hope comes in that I hope they get a, a, a better vaccine. I hope that businesses what can't open do survive and reopen again. It's looking very un unlikely. And, and the one of celebration is hey, it's Christmas. Don't let any. Don't let anything what what the government or Boris says get you down. Celebrate, celebrate your Christmas your way. And that's how I do it for myself. 
and, and that's what I'm doing. I'm celebrating Christmas my way, the, the way I, I've always lived. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and it's been great, yeah, I mean, it's been fantastic. And that's. <clears throat> So I just thought I'd do this little quick video and you know to to just to say yeah I mean uh, and also to say to my subscribers thank you very much for watching and subscribing to my channel I really do appreciate it and it is very 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 much appreciated by the way I really do and I hope you and I hope to get your continuing support through the through more years and that so yeah it, it's, it's one you know, I am very thankful for all the subscribers I've got I, I really am I'm very 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 thankful to that and I don't take it for granted I, I do try and do videos keeping it within the spectrum of my channel I know I don't do radio reviews anymore because well, I've got no more radios to review I haven't bought any radios to review or all like that but what I have done if, if you notice I have replaced it in it in a way i mean I, i'm not doing if you're wondering why i'm not doing a temp review it's winter there's, there's no point but hopefully new year's eve when i go camping you'll see a tent on that and it's not going to be a review i've done i've done a review on the tent i'm going to be using but it'd be one of use and it'd be it'd be my thoughts the end of that camp it'd be one of my thoughts where i think well yeah it's rather done really well, like it's done really crap, you know what I mean? But it's a good, it's well known make tent work because I've got a Coleman, and Coleman's are, are known to be good, yeah, they really are. So, so yeah, that's moving on forward. I mean, any any tip New Year, you you'll get you'll get more CX pickups and things like that. But my last CX pickups for this year will be on Boxing Day, so I hope you all tune in for that. And I hope you all like it. And then the very last video of what I'll be doing, rather be Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll, I'll look back through 2020. Yeah, it's, it's, it's to look back through the year and come right up to, hopefully, bang up to date and move on from there and, and celebrate New Year and New Year's Day as we always do. With a great big party, <laughs> I hope. Well, that's my hope, in any case. And that's it. So that's me really at end it day. I hope you've enjoyed the videos what I've put out. I know they haven't been of like gaming quality or like that, but I, I you know, I hope you like well, I know you like the last CX pickup. I hope you really enjoyed the videos what I have put out. Um people say, Well, are you struggling for content? No, I'm not struggling for content. It's just that I always had it planned. I always had a midnight that kind of midnight mass planned. I thought why not? No one's. I, I haven't seen it before. No one's ever done one before. I don't think. Well, I haven't seen one on YouTube. Not the way I've just done it. Any case, and no one's done an alternative Christmas speech like I'm doing, which is, is like I say, of you know love, forgiveness, and celebration, and hope. Yeah, hope. Yeah, you got to be hopeful for the future. You really have. I am. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Next summer, I'll be able to go out and do loads of wild camps. I, I really am. And if that don't happen, it don't happen. At the end of the day, there's nothing you can do. I mean, I mean, I started, I, I started out 2020, um, 2019 New Year's Eve. I, I was camping up on Hill Come 2020, I, we we walked round Hill We we did a lot, and I started the year off the way I wanted to start it off, and then suddenly, you know, it it, it became February, and and it was becoming very clear, don't. TV news at back end of January to beginning of February that COVID-19 broke out and then come March 2020 we're in lockdown so it snookered my plans for 20 I'm hoping 2021 is going to be a better year for me for us all really and a, and a better better year so I can do more wild camps and, and put them on you know film them and put them up on on YouTube because I think that's what people yeah, you, know, you know, people are saying to me, oh, we'd love to see you camping. Well, you will. As soon as I can get out, you will see me camping, trust me. Um, but it's a lot of walking and talking to begin with. Yeah, you know I mean, and that. And then, you know, I set up the camp. You don't see me set up the tent. 
and I don't, you know because it, 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 it takes two to set it up so I set up the tent and everything and, and get everything going then I start filming around the camp and things like that and do, do a bit of filming you know making a brew or getting something to eat and things like that and oh, hopefully people like it and, and hopefully my battery power lasts out um, I have got a battery bank what I'll be charging up and taking with me so that's not too bad but yeah it, it you know to me I, I've been really honoured and lucky to have all my subscribers support me through this quite very difficult year and I, I'm, I'm glad for that and like I say celebration well I'm celebrating uh, now and things like that and I will be celebrating with this work later Dan, you know, Jack, Dan, JD winter yeah and I'll be celebrating with a little bit of that later on and I'll be taking some of that out um, while camping yeah I'll be taking some booze with me doing a bit of wild camping I've got some Jack Daniels up there and, and do that and, and, and go that way about it yeah, I mean, and if I can get a little bit of bottle of coke I will if I can't I can't um, yeah so it's one of those and like I say I hope our future for 2021 is not one starting the year off in a stupid lockdown but we don't know what Boris has got planned <laughs> I mean. so there you go so I'm just hoping that we kick off the year right um, it's a better year than what we've had let's hope it's a better year let's hope it's we get a decent summer and a warm, you know, nice warm summer like we did last summer hopefully hopefully and, and go from there I really do so yeah and I'm, and I'm hoping also and I will make this quite clear <laughs> I am hoping to to try and get more Wii U games Nintendo GameCube and some PS1 games get more PS1 games I ain't got very many. I, I I do need some more. Yeah, you know I mean, I like to get a collection. What I know, I I I will definitely be be playing, and I like to get some Dreamcast games as well, and, and start collecting for Dreamcast, and, and hopefully get a Dreamcast console one day. And hopefully, like I say, if we get a decent summer, bring you a bit of hammock camping. You know, while camping with an hammock. Uh, because I, I, I got an hammock this year, thanks to my mate Kevin, Christmas present and all that. Fantastic. So, hopefully, do a bit of hammock camping and, and go from there. And hopefully it's going to be a, a belting summer, so we can do that as well. Without using a tarp. <laughs> I don't, I won't want to use a tarp. But if I have to, I have to. And things like that. So, yeah. So, like I say, hoping for the future that we get a decent vaccine. Hoping that I get onto a wild camp next year. Oh, well, hoping to get onto a wild camp New Year's Eve. Hoping to get onto a wild camp and I'm at camping next year. Hoping to pick up some some Wii U games, Nintendo GameCube games, a bit more of um, a bit more of the games, you know, and, and some more Mega Drive games as well, and some more PS1 games. That's my that's my wishes for uh, 2021, and hopefully. A bit more enjoyable getting out more out and about with the camera again like you did in 2020 where i was showing you around wakefield there's plenty to see um that's why i got bullied you know people say well it's a crap oh, it looks a dirty town <laughs> well i told them two people do do your research mate because wakefield's not a town it's a city that's why it's called city of wakefield but there you go um so like i say i got you in enjoyed Christmas, I hope you've enjoyed your family's company and love and I hope you've enjoyed your, your, your Christmas present and hopefully you've enjoyed your Christmas dinner and you watched the films what you wanted to watch this year and that and hopefully you, you, you've got what you wanted for Christmas in the first place so yeah, it's a joyous and it's a celebration and that's what we're celebrating, life it's a celebration of life, that's what uh, Saint Nick is Saint Nick is, is, is patron saint of Christmas, basically. Um, people say he's a myth. He might be a myth, but it's based on a true story. Well, let's face it. We all know the story of Saint Nick in the Bible, but it is based loosely on a true story. There was someone called Nicholas, and yes, 
he, he did give out presents even though there was wooden toys to children who couldn't afford presents that's how come his patron saint saint of, of christmas and that's why he's called santa claus father christmas so yet again yeah it, yeah might might be a myth to some people but it is based on the true story there was a real life santa claus he will call Saint Nick. As simple as that. And like I said, we've got our gaming god Saint Gunaldinho plays. He's one of our saints. Then we've got the retro bear, a wise king. Then we've got the gaming, you know, UK gaming cow. Uh, uh, a wise, a wise king, a Sega. Ret the retro bear, a wise king of the Wii. And gaming granddad, a very wise man of charity. And God bless you all. <laughs> Simple as that. And I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas. And I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. For now. Catch you all later. And if you by any chance you have liked this video. Please. Thumbs up. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you're new. And hit the bell and hit the and hit all. That will let you know when I put up another video. Please share the video, which is very important to share it. Please share it to Twitter and Facebook. And to your friends and family. Yeah, they might get a laugh out of this. They might get a kick out of it. You just don't know. I hope you've enjoyed it. And comment below. Uh, I do answer, or try to answer, all the comments I can. Might be a little bit late, because I, I, I do have other things what I'm doing. But I do try and answer all your comments. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. So from Yorkshire so from Yorkshireman sixty six to all of YouTube and all of my subscribers and everyone who I watch, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.